The first thing I do is focus on my triggers. What makes me want to indulge in this sort of content? What is making me stop in what I'm currently doing to go and rush and watch this sort of content? The first thing that comes to mind is social media. On social media, we see all sorts of things. And one of the most common thing that we see on social media is women. A lot of the time, especially on your recommended right now, what you're suffering with, are first traps. Women that are trying to trap you in, obviously for their own gain, all right, I'm not gonna make them out to be monsters, but this isn't gonna do any good for us. Anytime that we are minding our business or scrolling and we see this sort of content, we are not gonna put our phone in our left hand, but instead with our left thumb, we are going to try and find the not interested button. This is normally located by the three dots. This could be on YouTube, this could be on Instagram, this could be on TikTok any short form piece of media, there will always be a not interested button that you're going to have to search for. This is so content like this will not appear on your feed. And if it does, it will not be so regular. But we're not done because I know some of you actually follow models, actually follow these so-called stars. And what I need you to do is unfollow all of those accounts. These women that you follow are clearly tempting you and they are not getting you out of your addiction. So I'm sorry to say, you're gonna have to break it off with them. If you struggle with this, or if you have a favorite and you have somebody that you keep coming back to, you keep following back, keep going back onto their page, block them. I don't care if you have to block thousands of accounts that don't even know you. It is not weird to block a famous person or account you don't know in this dilemma. And finally, I want you to go to your saved section where you have all your saved posts. And if it's possible, I want you to start fresh and clear everything. If not, do not scroll down and try to unsave everything because I don't think you will last. I think you'll be a little bit tempted and that's okay. So anything you can see in your site without scrolling, that is a first trap that is making your spidey sense tingle. I want you to unsave it. I feel like some people are blind to the fact that when you want to indulge in this sort of content, sometimes it isn't spontaneous. Sometimes it isn't just a random feeling that occurs, a random urge. Sometimes we are triggered by the things we see and the things we intake daily. Your kryptonite right now are these women on these different social media apps. And if you have Twitter and if you have Reddit, I want you to just straight up delete those because those are so easy to fall into the rabbit hole because worse content is allowed on these apps. This might annoy you and this might be something very daunting and you might need this, but you're gonna have to bite the bullet for now and trust me because you will see results. These are all the things that I did and I am no longer addicted. I am 10 times happier and my focus has increased drastically. So please stick to the end of the video to get everything you need. I have done everything I am saying. I am not lying. When people are fiends to something, when people are addicted to something, the second they try to get off of it completely, you always see they end up back on the product. This is why in contrast to other videos, I do not believe it is something that you could just stop doing straight away because there is a high chance that you will go back to it eventually. What I want you to focus on is the process. I want you to focus on slowing down and then stopping because then that is a realistic way for you to quit. We focused on the triggers. We focused on what we can do on social media to prevent us from becoming curious Georges. Now let's talk about deleting the apps we have. Now there are three apps in mind I have. I did briefly touch on Twitter and Reddit, but I'm also gonna touch on any hotspots or hotspot shields that you have in order to access these websites. What I want you to do, it depends on what stage you are at. I want you to delete an app every week. Every week, I want you to delete one of the apps you use to indulge this content. For example, on week one, you could delete Reddit. On week two, you can delete Twitter. And on week three, you'll delete the hotspot shield your free ass uses to watch this stuff. Be honest with me right now, my boy. How many times have you deleted these apps and still re-downloaded them? What I want you to do is monitor how much time you spend on these apps. I don't know your average time of how long you spend on it, but I want you to track it. I want you to time it and I want you to put small limits on your time. The less, the better. Try go for 10 minutes a day. Try go for five minutes a day of being on these apps. Eventually, as your time goes on, if you see that you're not spending any time on the app, what is the point of having it still installed on your phone? You might as well delete it. Now we have done this, we are not fully cured but there are more fun stuff in store. An important step that I do not hear talked about in the way I'm about to explain it to you 
is female energy, female interaction. Now, I'm not about to tell you some corny stuff about you going up to girls, women, you trying to get their numbers, you trying to talk to them, you trying to get involved into a relationship. No, you ain't doing any of that. You don't have to do any of that. What I want you to do is try and get a female friend. Now, I don't want you to tell them what we're trying to do here, all right? I don't want you to be weird about it, but try it in a natural way, whether it's school, work, day-to-day -day social media, try and befriend somebody that is a female. This is important for two reasons. As guys, as men, we often put women on a pedestal. Now, it is not wrong to appreciate a woman. It is not wrong to think highly of a woman, but sometimes we forget women are human too. Girls are humans too. When you interact with a female on a regular basis, even if they're just your friend, you get used to it. Suddenly you can engage in conversations with females without having any lustful thoughts and you can be in complete control. And of course, that fear that you had before with engaging with a female, even if it's just a normal conversation, or if you like them, be changed because you view them how you view yourself. Human. The second reason is because as men, we need feminine energy around us. A lot of you just have testosterone constantly around you. And yeah, of course, that's good. You got that friendly competition. You have that drive to be better, to do better. And you will build a solid mindset when you have solid guys around you. However, feminine energy is important because it regulates your emotions. We hold and store so much until eventually we burst. And this leads to frustration, which is also another trigger, another reason, another excuse to indulge in content we do not need. Having that feminine energy around us calms us down. I believe that feminine energy for a man is the second strongest form of energy that we can absorb. Now, I don't know how you're listening to me because I'm not telling you to be feminine. That's not what I'm necessarily saying, but I'm telling you to absorb the feminine energy around you. Although people say that men are not really the emotional type and they try to get things done, the reality of it is that having that feminine energy around us sometimes will get our head clear, sometimes will get us to do the right things. You act rash, you can be hot-headed, but with the right people around you, they can really talk you down and also give you another perspective on what you think might be the right choice, but might not be. So whether that's a female friend or a girlfriend, build relationships because you do not have to be anti-interactions with a female to stop your addiction. Females are dangerous, but they are also powerful. And with the right one, friend or girlfriend, again, I have to stress this enough, I'm not just telling you to just find a girlfriend, no. I'm trying to be realistic here. For some people, of course, that might not be what you're ready for, that might not be what you'll do right now. But with that person, they can really change you for the better and they can help you grow. Most powerful piece on the chessboard is the queen. So I'll let you think about that one. Do not ignore this step. It is so crucial that you stop alienating yourselves from females. We are on this planet for a reason and there are a reason why we coexist. There are a reason why they are there. And that is because it brings us balance. Focus on balance. And of course, companionship and uh, children, of course. But anyway, you know what I'm trying to, you know what I'm saying, all right? Just, just keep listening. Now, I did say for a man, the second most important form of energy is feminine energy. And that's because the first most important, the most powerful form of energy we have is that, you know, energy. I hope you heard me, but it is that feeling where you commonly feel lustful. But if you use it in the right way, you can conquer anything. Think about it. This form of energy, no matter how tired you are, no matter how lazy you're feeling, no matter what's going on in your life, you are eager and you are fastly moving, you are quickly moving and, and struggling to get on these apps, struggling to get on the right side, struggling to put your phone in the other hand. If you learn to flip this energy and use it for good, you will level up. Your XP will rise. The second this mood hits you like a truck, Instead of doing what you normally do, and the Shenron rises, why can't I go on a run? Why can't I get this work done? Why can't I do my homework? You get what I'm trying to say. Get into the habit of using that strong form of energy and stop procrastinating. Yes, it does give you that drive when you work out. Yes, it will give you that drive when you need to get work done. 
yes it will give you a boost this is the final step and this acquires all the xp that you got from my previous assignments i want you to do your homework i want you to try and beat this because i know you can beat this something i thought about is how am i going to be older with my wife and i'm still going to be indulging in this form of content you know some men fall into this too early too young and they can never get out of it and they still rely on it and i think it's weird watching these people do these things when you look at it in hindsight there's no need for regret there's no need for that feeling you always feel after there's no need for feeling bad when you can try and stop and prevent this from even happening it all comes down to you if you want to change it's all up to you to use this information and give it a try let me know down in the comments below if i helped you or missed anything i believe in you 110 percent you just need to believe in yourself i'll see you tomorrow oh my god